Hello， 你好，我是 Frank， 你的飞行伙伴。ATR 七十二涡轮螺旋桨客机是我们台湾国内线的主力客机。你想驾驶 ATR 涡轮螺旋桨客机吗？或是想多了解它的系统设计吗？我来分享一位曾经在台湾飞行过的资深 ATR 机长 m a g n a r n o d e l l 他的频道 Fly with m a g n a r 有很多关于这款飞机的影片哦。要是英文对你没什么问题，那赶快到他的 YouTube 去看看吧。要是带有一点欧洲口音的英文解说，还有 YouTube 的自动字幕或是自动翻译，那你看的有点吃力，或者是有点黑人问号，没关系，我可以理解。但目前好消息是 m e g a 机长让我以专业字幕的方式在这里和你分享他的影片，那我们就一起来看看吧。Hello aviators, how are you today? My name is m a g n a n u d a l I'm a captain and instructor on ATR aircraft. Every aircraft has some quirks and features that only experienced pilots know about, and the ATR is no exception. So, if you really want to know the machine, stay put. For here are six useful hacks for the ATR pilot. This hack works with ATR variants with glass cockpit. When you are checking the altimeters before departure, you can impress your colleague with the following trick. Here on the MCDU is the exact altitude shown on your altimeter. So when you're reading the checklist, altimeters, you can reply QNH 1712, 22 feet. And since we are talking about the MCDU, here is another hack. If you forgot to memorize the takeoff time before you started your takeoff run, don't worry. After becoming safely up in the air, you will find the takeoff time here on the flight plan page and the progress page. Just remember to write it down before you pass the first waypoint. To enter the cockpit from the cabin, you must walk through the forward cargo compartment, and unless the compartment light is on, it will be pitch dark, which is not fun for a flight attendant bringing a tray with refreshments to the pilots. The light switch is located in the entrance area to the cockpit. So, if you forgot to switch on the light before departure, you will have to get out of your seat to reach the switch. This is not always practical, so instead you can use the clipboard. This button activates the hydraulic aux pump. We use it when the main pumps are not powered. In other words, when the aircraft is parked on the ground, and we need hydraulic power to charge the parking brake accumulator. Or to operate the propeller brake, you push the button, and the pump is running for 30 seconds. But this label is only true for early ATR variants. In the 500 and 600, the pump can also run in flight. This can be nice to know because if you have lost both main hydraulic pumps and the automatic operation of the aux pump is lost. Which means you have lost the best too. You can press the button to energize the blue hydraulic system for 30 seconds. This allows you to extend the flaps during approach, and for landing, it will power the spoilers and the nose is steering. The main cabin door weighs 120 kilos, but it can be lifted with your fingertips. The reason is that the door is balanced with two springs. You can see them here. But this makes the door sensitive to winds blowing into the backside of the door, and this can be a safety hazard. The solution is to place a heavy object on the door, for example, a wheel shock made of solid rubber. Are you landing in tailwind? Then you know how important it is to stay inside the performance limitations. ATI aircraft can be certified for either 10 or 15 knots tailwind. 
The wind reported by the airport is measured at 8 meters elevation and may not reflect the wind you are experiencing on short final. What you may not be aware of is that the wind vector on the navigation display has a delay. Therefore, when the wind is changing, it will take some time before the wind vector is updated. Furthermore, with a crosswind component, it is not always easy to calculate your headwind or tailwind component. To get an instant readout of the headwind or tailwind component, you subtract the ground speed from the true airspeed indication. In this video, you can see the wind is from uh, 095 at 7 knots. And the difference between true airspeed and ground speed is from minus 4 to minus 3 knots. Which means the tailwind is between 4 and 3 knots. And just before landing, you can see the tailwind increases up to 6 knots. And that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy learning.